today is my last day walking on trail before I get to the Pan America, which will take me directly to the coast and the final segment of Colombia. <sighs> you know, I have mixed feelings about this. This morning I woke up and I just felt like I wanted to quit. That was mainly because I didn't want to get out of bed because um, <laughs> once I started walking, I was fine. Um, and then I saw a message from somebody on Instagram saying, enjoy this last section of Colombia. And I thought, oh, they're so right because yeah, every step I'm running out of being one of the most friendliest, loving countries that I have ever been in. And I guess part of that experience is that my Spanish is a lot better than it was when I started, right? So that's one thing. Um, so today is a 40 kilometer day. Wombat's wearing a pair of shoes because he has dried out um, feet and I don't want him to end up with big sores that take a long time to recover. But he will be having a break coming up. So today I'm just trying to really enjoy. The scenery is changing really quickly. I am coming out of a mountainous area and I can feel that it's already warming up, partly because the sun's coming up, <laughs> but also because of the protection of the mountains and the trees and just the altitude generally makes it cooler. And the road's been opening up more and more, so I have less tree cover along my walk. And very soon I'll end up passing along a foot trail rather than a road. And that'll be my very last one until I get to the coast. <laughs> Wombats are definitely having a good day too. He's trying to rob me of my walking pole, which he could have, except that I know that he'll just ditch it when he's bored. So <laughs> he's also in a good mood. This morning, someone tried to scam me at the middle of my dark walking section. Um, so the first hour of my morning is in the dark and this man stopped me and he said, um, you know, there's a, a crazy man up ahead. He has a machete. You need to be careful. And then he asked me um, if I had any money in, in my country's form for um, his collection. And I think he assumed that I'm from the States because that would be worth something to him. Um, anyway, I don't, and <laughs> I said no, I didn't. And um, he left, and normally if there's a, a, a legitimate threat, the person would try and stop me and get me to turn back. And I just, I paid attention, but I also was a bit skeptical. And so I've been asking everyone if this area is tranquil and um, it, it, it's more than that <laughs> because every single person I have passed has stopped to say hello and are just so so lovely thank goodness I've had cloud cover this morning and there's a fair amount of tree cover where I'm walking to so um, I'm not too worried about losing the hours I'm just trying to work walk as fast as I can Okay, so worth noting, there are tunnels that are being built and I'm being told that I should be able to walk through, but I have to ask, but motorbikes can get through, so uh, the thing is, I have to walk an extra 2k if they say no. I chickened out. <laughs> I was like, there is zero point in me trying to get through a tunnel. One, but it's still gonna have to be on the lead. It's gonna be shady, but there's cloud cover. The only thing that might happen is I'll get rained on, but who cares? <laughs> this road that I'm on now, it's straight. It's in a really old road, not well maintained, but still pavement, um, hardly any traffic. Safe, apparently. When I arrived, it was raining properly, like torrential rain. And um, I didn't think I could get accommodation because I was wet and Wombat was completely covered in mud. And I looked on iOverlander, which is an app I use, and there's a place that receives cyclists for free and you can stay on the roof of the hotel. So I asked, 
and they said yes and this is where I'm staying. I'm staying in a sauna. <laughs> Um, I could stay on the roof, but it's quieter here and there's less light, so that's why I've set up in here. But no one uses the sauna in the tropics, obviously, and I have a bathroom and a, a shower and a toilet, and um, it's totally secure. What a great last day, minus the length and the rain and the heat. But it was still a great last day on trail before getting to the coast. Thank <laughs> you.